Gemini's hi guys how are you I hope that everybody is doing well I swear I was recording just now and something happened but anyways guys all the information will be in the description box when it comes to the playlist if this doesn't resonate or if it does and you want to check other videos that might resonate for you the link is in the description box for those of you who want to book with me that information is also in the description box those of you who want to book for classes if you're having a call in and you want to learn tarot that is also in the description box. but that april class you guys this is the last day to enter that if you guys want to purchase my deck uh, as well that information is in the description box you guys thank you for all your support on the deck everyone should have a tracking number for those who have ordered i am done I just came from the post office as well not too long ago so thank you for all your love and support um, so let's just get into it before my phone stopped recording again don't know why when I thought it was all good and dandy okay somebody don't want you to receive any messages what all right let's see what's going on gems this is a, this is gonna be an energy pull like I said, thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's going on for Geminis? The energy around Geminis. What's the energy? Thank you. What's the energy around Geminis? I've been called to this deck again, you guys. Okay, so let's see here. Hermit. Gemini's energy pull. Why am I seeing worry here? Worry. It's like you're being pushed back. A lot of you are being pushed back from either someone with a Virgo energy or a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra energy, like yourself. But this is a lot of fear. This is what I'm seeing here. It's like something has happened where you felt like you can't trust this situation anymore. You feel like something is going to happen again, like you just... You're second guessing yourself. You're going back into the past and seeing what you could have done. Would things have like ended in a different way? If you have done this, if you've done that. There's just like a lot of stress and a lot of depression. But I'm seeing like this energy trying to figure it out. Tell me more about this page of swords. There's a lot of secrets here. A lot of talk, a lot of gossip. You feel like this person, whoever this is for you, you just feel like they are up to no good, like you can't trust them. It feels shady here with the moon, Pisces energy. Your intuition is taking place here within the moon. You just feel like your angel guides are trying to tell you something. It's not too late. This is in the upright, you guys. I am feeling like there is someone that wants to come back in and solve something with you. I feel like there was a lot of tussle and fighting. This was a lot of... You know, this I'm just getting a lot of people. I don't feel like this is just you and one other person. I feel like like you were being ganged up on for some reason. Because, of course, a person talked too much. There's an energy that t talked a lot here within this situation. This could be a fatherly figure or someone that you respected or loved. Someone older. I'm also seeing the two of pentacles where it's just going back and forth with you. Like this person is going back and forth with you. Like this doesn't feel like home anymore to you. You have the ten of cups in reverse here. You also have the seven of swords. There's a lot of people here. You feel like envy and jealousy is a factor here as well with this page of swords, seven of swords energy. The Ace of Wands is also coming out here as well. So there's a constant new beginning or something is moving. There's a lot of movement. So everything is coming quickly, coming in very quickly, like nonstop. This is how you feel here. There's like some form of changes always. Tell me more. 
All right, so. Hmm. You have the Knight of Wands, you have the Hangman here. You have Pisces energy again, Hangman and the Moon. You also have the Knight of Wands energy. Knight of, Knight of Wands, King of Wands. Hmm, interesting. I'm just seeing that there's like this energy of thinking that they're doing everything right. This could be a fatherly figure, but there's also a lot of immaturities to this. Like someone thinks that you are supposed to solve everything here. Like they're really stubborn energy. This could be a Leo, Taurus. You have the high front here as well, a lot of codependency or someone is being told the wrong information, okay? This could also be like this, these people are talking about you and giving this person the wrong information about you. Okay, um, I'm seeing like the Ace of Swords here. So there's like this energy of like something is, is stuck. Like I'm getting like this stuck energy of not understanding. The Page of Pentacles is also coming through here as well. So you have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra here, Taurus, Leo. A lot of major arcana, Pisces, Pisces, Virgo. Let me close the door, you guys. My cat just opened the door and there's music in the living room. I'm sure you guys could have heard it. <laughs> then my neighbor is playing his own music. So, finally we're having good weather in Atlanta. Like, very good weather. We're about to hit the 80s this week. Ooh so excited um but i'm just seeing that <sighs> this person page of pentacles in reverse there's no stability here the stability is not real i feel like this person is being caught up in whatever they're spreading whatever lies that they're spreading whatever they're believing it's like whatever they're telling people this could be the person that you are interested with is telling people horrible things about you because I'm seeing they're being very talkative and this person is coming off quite young. You're being pushed away to spirit. You're being called to serve. Um, you're in that energy of trying to find out what you are here for and what you need to do. This really hurt you. This is what I'm seeing here. This situation really hurt you. Um, I'm just getting like there's no trust as well. There was a huge mistake here. Someone was being very shady. It could have been a cancer that was keeping you, like hiding you or not being proud to be seen with you. Or this could be someone that is very in and out, keeping you a secret, not trying to decide. But there are lies are coming out this is what you're gonna find out i feel like there's going to be it's like the angels are saying not yet not ready for this information uh-uh uh-uh but um it's going to come out when it's the, t the right time this is what i'm seeing here it's like the angels are still giving this person some kind of chance spiritually to make this right. Okay. He's a cups in reverse. He's a swords in reverse. The ace of wands in the upright. Wow, this is a contract between you and this person. I'm seeing masculine, masculine energy here. This could be with a Scorpio or Aries for those of you, but this person looks at you as the queen. This person is a masculine energy. They're trying to overtake you. 
This could be an older energy, like I said before. <laughs> Something about your son, like you're important to them. You make things come alive. You make it look so easy and this person is making all the wrong choices, but they don't want to be told that. They're very distant within this hangman energy. I'm just seeing like you need to watch your your energy with this person because a lot of you feel like you're trapped or this person tricked you into something because you feel like you're tied up, like you can't make your way out of this. Look at that, the Ace of Cups in reverse. How many Aces so far? Hold on a sec. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups. Did we miss anything? The Ace of Pentacles is the only one that didn't show up yet. Then you have the Six of Cups. You also have the Nine of Wands. So for those of you who have not talked to this person or is just like not talking to this person right now, there's going to be a conversation. All right, because it seems like you are giving up on this relationship or choosing to walk away or to break free. You feel like this person have wasted your time. You feel like you guys don't get along here. You feel like whatever you want to give this person, you can't. You can't trust this person. This person is putting you through a lot of competition. This person has shown up as someone who's cheating. For those of you that are in a love situation or this friendship, this person never just, they never choose you. They're like playing side. If this is a family situation, the same stuff is going on here. They're not choosing you. They know they need to choose sides, but they don't want to. Something about sides. This could be between another situation. You don't feel safe, but you're going to have the justice here. You have the world. You have the nine of swords. I mean, the ten of swords, excuse me. So there's a lot of clothes and chapters choosing for to forgive this person, choosing to tie up this situation. This is why you're having the justice. This is why the Holy Spirit is giving you the justice, despite what this person is all about. This is going to take time. Divine timing is at play here. You also have the Queen of Cups and the Five. Hmm. It's like, I'm getting like when the Five, emotionally, you didn't want this to happen. Gemini's, you didn't. You wanted, you wanted to work this thing out with this person. You really did. This is what I'm seeing here. You feel very hurt. I keep picking that up and you still have a lot of feelings for this person. The devil energy is also coming up. The magician. There's a lot of prayer. There's a lot of positive energy. There's multiple partnerships that is also coming up here that is very overwhelming. This could be family members or friends that just don't want you guys together. Don't want you guys to have anything that look at that ace of pentacles in reverse. You have all four aces. All four aces coming out here. You also have the four of pentacles on the back of the deck. So, you know, I feel like if this is a family thing, because this is a family tree, this is the legacy in reverse, you guys. So clearly you're having issues with people that care about you, love you with these cups, and they don't want you to be with them, uh, be with this energy. It's like they're they're having their two cents in there. Okay, they're putting in their two cents. Okay, the devil's energy is in reverse as well. So there's a lot of toxic vibes here. There's a lot of accepting the facts <laughs> with Capricorn energy. I'm seeing Sag energy for those of you who resonates with that. I'm seeing the nine energy within the justice or... I'm seeing balance here. I'm seeing Libra energy. I'm also seeing Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo within the world. Pisces, like I said before, is showing up very strongly. Virgo again. There's a lot of energy, even Scorpio, Aries here fighting in the tower. For those of you who are Scorpio moon or rising, or you're dealing with a Scorpio, 
or an Aries <laughs> fire sign. I'm also seeing Leo here, Taurus. Very stubborn energy. Someone is lying though. I'm seeing like something about lies. You're hearing about it. People are treating you differently. You don't know where it's coming from or what's happening. Tell me more. <sighs> wow. The angels are reminding you to love. This came up in... um. Scorpio's reading today and it's a five so it's like an adversity that you have signed up to teach this person something new it says remember to love so you know like lead with love here is going to be hard for you because you're having the five vibration which is very hard this is like experiencing loss as you're trying to hold on to this and trying to be the bigger person here it says teach me something new here you're like to sh like you're showing someone something Angel Raphael has also shown up for you. So your heart chakra is activated. This is emotional healing and love. Again, you know, the Angel Raphael is helping you to love, to remember to be loved, and to remember to lead with that as well. What is this one? Judgment. Ooh. So this is decided with the angel. It says final decision, completion, ending, moving on, power. I just feel like within this judgment, you're taking back a lot of your power, Gemini's. You're losing a lot here, but you're it's like you're and look at Aries. Aries and Libra. There's a need for balance here. Because I just feel like all of this there's a codependency too that keeps showing up i keep going back to with this taurus energy sag energy there's a lot of fire energy here too ace of water the divine of water ace so there's a huge force of emotional feelings are just going to hit you all at once it's like a wave and it's coming out of nowhere because in this energy a lot of you feel like you have control but then there's this wave so a lot of you are in this midst of like really just you know being strong and trying to re release yourself from this but i feel like there is something that is holding you here with this eight so I'm seeing a lot of crying and a lot of emotional look, this raindrops. It says no need to worry. It's like a storm within the nine. Okay. And the angels are reminding you like, you don't need to worry about this. Things are pre-planned. <laughs> Whatever is going to happen is going to happen. You ever heard that saying? And it truly is the truth. Whatever is designed to happen will happen, no matter how you try to change it. So you're not alone is also coming up here. I feel like you feel like you're just fighting for this connection all by yourself. Movements are being confirmed here with number eight. Traveling, coming home. So there's an energy of coming home here. There's also an energy of a breakup, okay? Um, leaving behind or moving forward. You know, I feel like a decision has been made here with the judgment. Like someone is making a move. It's not like I'm getting an energy that is still. You have the eight. Divine seeks you out. Again, you know, the hermit energy. You're being pushed back into spirit. So a lot of you are really jumping into your divine call and your meaning in life. You have a gift. You always had this gift. It's getting stronger and stronger within the seven. And everywhere you go, you see seven. And you're being pulled here spiritually because you need to be of service. Your life is going to be better when you get into that energy. Okay? Because you're not alone. Your angel guides are always with you. But there are things that you signed up for as well within this life, within your fives. Okay? So anytime you see a number five, just know that that's what you signed up for. Like you felt like you needed to feel alone in within this world. You needed to feel what alone felt. So in a past life, you probably had um, a life where people were around you. Maybe you were famous or something like that. <laughs> and you always had people around you and you just never did anything by yourself. You never you were independent that way. And now you have this life where, you know, you're just definitely feeling your own energy. 
and a lot of us signed up for that i know i had a adversity like that too i'm here to be independent not necessarily saying that you're not going to be with someone but you need to know how to stand up on your own two feet when necessary so tell me more Ooh, angel messages from angel Raphael. Why not Raphael? I keep thinking about angel Raphael, you guys. You do have him, but this is from Gabrielle. So you have two different angels here showing up for you. And it's just reminding you to, you know, live your truth. Okay, it says dwell in the house of the divine. And this means to me that um, whatever you do in life, whatever you, you know, however you make money, okay, for example, just remember to have a wonderful heart. Just remember to give back to other people when you can. And don't forget yourself. Be humble and kind, all right? And then it says angel of strength. So obviously you're going through a lot and a lot of you are seeing angel number 111, all right? It's similar to 1111, okay? But this is where this angel is appearing into your life. And I feel like a lot of you... It's just a reminder that you have been through this once before and you could tap into this energy to overcome this challenge, whatever challenge you are experiencing at that point when you're seeing the 111, like you've been there before and you have the energy or you have the strength to overcome this. And this could be that a lot of you are dealing with a Leo or a fire sign, okay? All right, so... And then we have another seven here. It says focus, you know, pay attention. You are seeking something. You're looking for something. You're becoming awake. You're seeing things in a different light. You're seeing things more clearer. You're seeing things more closed up. Um, you're getting information that you haven't got before. So a lot of your crown chakras are definitely activated within the situation. All right, so we have a huge ego. So Capricorn is also coming out here. I'm also seeing Capricorn here too, within this green Capricorn, Virgo, Le um, Libra. What is it? Capricorn, Virgo. And I'm having brain freeze right now in Taurus. Oh my gosh, girl. Why Libra keeps coming out of my mouth? Somebody is dealing with a Libra. Oh, it's like... Even though I'm trying to push another thing out of my mouth, I'm gonna le 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 <laughs> Libra energy is pretty strong up in here. So there's a lot of stubbornness, a lot of ego. There's an apology that is needed. This person has this ego. And this needs time. I'm also seeing that with the don't fear the divine love, you guys. I don't know. I'm just seeing like this needs time for you like to be patient. There's a lot of patience here. There's there's a, a lot of insurity as well like uncertainty i should say like you don't know if you are where you need to be and i'm just getting like you just need to trust within the divine right here so tell me about this <laughs> yeah you're gonna see receive the light you're gonna receive the information divine of light you have divine of water divine of light and then you have all the aces in this read this is crazy so a lot of you are going through a lot of emotional awakening this is spiritual walk and breakthrough so it's like everything that this is with this darkness everything that's keeping you trapped everything that's keeping you restricted every kind of lie that is planted against you is going to be destroyed it's going to be destroyed and i feel like because you are so welcoming too it's not like you're fighting your spiritual journey you're like the you know you're letting the universe just lead you <laughs> gemini's okay and there's a massive change or massive changes that are happening in your life right now a lot of you are definitely going through your eights okay moving like a lot of movement Yeah, I'm just seeing like 8 and 8 is 16, correct? So it's like you're going through a lot of changes. But you're preparing yourself spiritually, visions and dreams. <laughs> it's like a lot of you are healing yourself when you slumber. It's like your angel guides are definitely showing you, you know, in a different way. Maybe touring you around an area within your subconscious where you're going to need to 
prepare for what's to come, shown in your purpose. You need to follow your intuition. There's because there's always people around you that want to destroy you. You know, it's crazy because the whole time, like you're going through something, but there is also people talking about you, <laughs> planting seeds about you. And you're moving up. It's all because you're moving up and you're leaving them behind. It's not everybody that you're going to choose to bring with you. A lot of you are working on something big. This one to come out. I don't know what it is. Look at that. You have nothing to worry about. You're protected. Your archangels are around you. 444. Your loved one. Your, you know, your the loved ones that passed away. Your ancestors. Your angel guides. I mean, <laughs> they're being watched. Oh my god, they're being watched. They're being attacked within this wolf energy. I listen. Wolf is a protector now. Overcomings. Red Rose. Look at this. Divine Victory 6. <sighs> yeah, this whole reading is about a whole shift that is taking place within your life. You have all four elements. All four elements of aces. Then you have the divine water. You have the divine light. It's like the angels are saying, like, be oh, be prepared. There's, like, massive, not even changes, but massive changes are happening in your life. There's a karmic balance happening. The wheel is turning back to, over to, to give you that justice. <laughs> you deserve it. Somebody's been against you for too long. Somebody tried to take everything from you. Look at that deep respect. It's like this person is jealous because people look at you with deep love and respect. They look at you as a 12 roses. I mean, red roses, bouquet of roses. And this is your six as well. Six and six is 12. So you guys are experiencing a lot of people from your past. And then these people that are coming up is people that you felt like you know forever. Um, also seem like a lot of you could be diving in some kind of second chance with a romantic relationship. This could be your 1212, someone who you're separated from, a soul contract that is following you around and you're separated from and they're trying to get back to you. I'm also seeing victory, fulfillment, recovery, healing, completing and winning. I love this card. I love this card for you. Tell me more. Oh, this cards are falling on the floor. What is this? What is this? They fell on the floor. Ooh, look at that. Your divine hears you. A lot of you have been praying. And I got this twice over. It's like you are definitely tapping into your power. You're taking back your power. You don't have time for this. This is the manifestation card. This is a manifestation card. Oh my God. Confirmation, manifestation, prayer, your hopes, your wishes. You are not alone. And then you have the five here. It's like your divine is answering your question. You're not alone. Number five, you feel like you are alone. You feel like every time you're going through this five vibration, which is the adversities that you have signed up for within your contract, the things that you are here to experience, okay? Um, this could be just, you know, feeling lost or feeling abandoned within the five. So, or feeling like you are always not chosen, you're not number one, you're always trying to fight for that number one spot. No one makes you number one. So you're experiencing a lot of, it could be emotional loss, it could be creative loss, it could be, you know, lies, deceit. Everybody's always lying to you, trying to deceit you, trying to hurt you, trying to stab you in the back, um, trying to scam you. <laughs> These are all five levels. And this is what you're experiencing here. And your angel, not even your angel, your divine God is coming into play. Divine victory. You're, it's like, you're, you know, that energy that, that I'm going to say, source okay source is signed everything for you like before you even came here it says divine victory 
this is already <laughs> this is already successful for you like your path is to have divine victory the victory period point blank and no one can change this no matter what they try to do onto you you're protected too your ancestors oh my god they were very spiritual people <sighs> they had gifts that they never talked about very gifted line of family members even in the living you guys not just your ancestors people are watching over you people that you don't even know tell me more remember why i kept see feeling libra here's libra right in front of my face <laughs> Libra right in front of my face, Virgo, Gemini's within the magician. Tell me more. And then we're going to close. Holy Spirit, thank you. Ooh, let go and let God. White rose. So there's an apology coming towards you. Ooh, one at a time. Should I take this? Okay. We're going to take this. Ooh, past life contract. I love you always. Strong feelings, soulmate, unbreakable contract. So you're getting some contracts coming in here. Remember I told you about the romantic situation? Number 12, 12, and this could be your six, six. Six is meaning your, your soulmate, past life energy, or your twin flame that is coming into your life. Okay, like this person have a soul tie connection to you, a form of contract. And this person is showing up as... Like it says, strong feelings, soulmate, unbreakable contract. So they're saying this is unbreakable, you guys. This person, they're like saying that they love you always. They loved you always. And then you have the past contract here to let, <laughs> to let me know as a reader. Like, don't mistake it. Like, this is this. This person has a contract. It says karmic correction. Um, ex what, what is my... <laughs> cosmic correction karmic partnerships and unbalanced energy i got i keep getting this unbalanced energy where did i see that before i've seen this before you guys i'm just trying to figure it out like i've seen it come out here before i've seen it karmic balance is right here it says unbalanced energy so this is like confirming that as well karmic balance victory like that is your six period you're trying to correct this for this to become this so you have jealousy and envy as well number three yellow rose this could be friendships someone that is a scorpio cancer pisces that show compassion and luck towards you but it's also about your compassion and luck. Why they have jealousy and envy. Like they want that. That's crazy. Like you look for the better half into people's energy. I've also seen apology here. Codependency attachment. Remember we talked about the eight of swords. That stuck energy. You're trying to like distance yourself. It's right here you guys. I mean everything is confirming each other. The eight of swords are here okay codependency being stuck feeling trapped feeling like you're dependent on someone wanting a fresh start trying to remove this attachment trying to start over rebirth trying to become your own self you cared about this person a lot this person doesn't want to let you go i'm just seeing like this holding on to you just on the back of the deck from the spirit you can't mess with this. You can't. Angel Michael, 888, the great protector. Yes, take a picture. Um, head chakra activated. Third eye activated. Heart chakra activated. Angel Michael. <laughs> and he is, I'm not going to say he's pissed because he is just not with the crap, not with the evilness. He's bringing back power into your life. He's bringing back victory into your life. Look at this. And the God, oh my God, the God above assigned victory. Like whoever this is for you that was trying to take away your victory, because they were trying to take away your victory, Angel Michael has been activated. Angel Michael obviously always was in your life because you have the protector here. But this is like, this is being undercover. 
<laughs> not showing the true face, especially when you have the strength card as well, which you did. I think you did, right? I'm not sure. Did you have the strength card? Yeah, I think you probably did. I think I saw Leo somewhere. Yeah, you did right here. <laughs> right here, Angel Michael. Being undercover, Angel Michael is all, all, also about courage and strength, you know? And this was undercover, this was undercover. Now, he's showing up as in your future, like, okay, enough is enough kind of vibe. This ain't going to take place, period, point blank. Do you see them eyes? <laughs> Don't play with this angel, y'all. He's the leader of all the other angels. He was put into that position from your divine God. This is what I have for you. I hope that means something to you. If it does, you know what to do. Thumbs up the video. Comment down below. If you're seeing angel number 7716, you need to run from this person, whoever this person is around you. Um, or you see this on a license plate or something's going on. Like, that's a warning. That's betrayal. All right? Love you. And I'll see you guys in your next one. Bye, guys.